So there's lots of tools out there that can help a small business um, when you're starting up. So there are tools to uh, help you research your market and decide you know, what kind of business you want to go into. Um, there are tools to help you promote that business so that you can get off to a, a good start really early on. There are tools to help you manage that business um, so that you don't get bogged down in all the kind of administrative stuff. And then there are tools to help you measure that business so that you can work out, um, you know, where's the best place to spend your next dollar. And the best thing is that most of those tools are free. So when it comes to starting up a business, when you're going through that research period where you're trying to start decide exactly what kind of business you want to go into, there are a couple of questions that people tend to ask themselves. So the first thing is, is there demand for whatever it is that I would like to sell? Um, the second thing is, is there a lot of competition already to meet that demand? Am I going into an overcrowded market? And the third thing is, is there a lot of trending or seasonal variation in that demand that I should be aware of? Um, and there are lots of tools out there that are completely free that can help you get kind of a ballpark idea um, of some statistics around those. So let's say that you're a new startup and you have a real passion for like fine food and wine and you've decided to build a business around that, but you're asking yourself which uh, niche market can I go into for my startup? Perhaps you're considering running wine tours or perhaps you're considering running chocolate tours. So one of the questions you're going to ask yourself is what kind of demand is there in the market for wine tours and chocolate tours and is that demand already being met by other businesses? So you can use a tool that's called the Google Keyword Tool to have a look at how many people are searching for both wine tours and chocolate tours. And it's also going to give you some idea of competition in the market because it'll show you on a little kind of bar graph how many people are buying those keywords on Google Ads, which it can be a kind of way of seeing where the competition is. So the way that you would do this is to go to the Google Keyword Tool and then you would type in wine tours and set it to Australia. This will then tell you in the uh, local searches column how many searches we had last month for keywords like wine tours. And it will also give you a bar that will show you the level of competition. Then go back and type in chocolate tours and then search again. I think what you'll find is that for wine tours there's lots of searches but also lots of competition. For chocolate tours, there's probably less searches, but also a lot less competition. So we would think of chocolate tours as being more like a kind of emerging market. So if you were somebody who wanted to get into an emerging market with your business because you really love food and wine, then maybe chocolate tours would be an option you'd like to consider. One of the things businesses often like to know before they uh, start up is what is the kind of trending that's happening in demand for the product or service that I would like to sell. Um, you can use a free tool called Google Insights for Search, um, which will give you ideas about trending in the number of Australians who are searching for particular terms. So let's say, for example, that you have a real passion for cleanliness and order, so you've decided to run your own cleaning business. Now you might have some questions for yourself. Do you want to run a household cleaning business? Do you want to run an office cleaning business? Do you want to run a carpet cleaning business? Uh, and so on. So if you type in all three of those terms, so house cleaning, carpet cleaning and office cleaning, then you'll be able to see trends on searches for those terms. So you might find that some of those terms actually have a flat level of searches, so there's not increasing demand for those particular types of cleaning. For other types of cleaning, you might find that there's an increase in the level of demand, which would show that that's a growing market. And then for some of those terms, you also might find that there's seasonal variation. So there might be certain times of the year when there's more demand or less demand. And all of that information can help you put your business plan together.